you make a home for yourself? Mary have a family? I have. What would you do now to protect it? To hold on to it. When Bass and Esau first meet, it's about 1862. 1877 is when we picked them back up on the Red River. Esau is now a Texas Ranger, and Bass is a US Deputy Marshal. Esau is really pleased to see Bass, but Bass is not that pleased to see Esau. Now you have to remember, Esau is the person who killed someone Bass borderline considered a son. So by the time we get to this collision between the two, there is so much history. In the process of handing Jack Rabbit over, Bass is reminded of Curtis, and it's really what starts Bass's downward descent in this season. I have no mind to arrest you. No, by those angry eyes, I reckon you just soon kill me. What's really powerful about the Red River scene is they talk about power. It's a really interesting dialogue they have where Bass is trying to reach Esau with love, and Esau is saying, no, I, I think you should come my way. <laughs> You honor the badge, Bass, but the power they give. The real power lie beneath, in the heart. Very, very different playing fields they are now operating within. And not only that, but Esau Pierce is the person he has now got to hand Jack Rabbit to for whatever justice is going to be meted out towards him. You in my prayers. Uh, don't bother the big man about me. Bass does not trust Esau with anyone, let alone this guy he has now gone on to have this brotherly relationship with. And that is emotionally quite debilitating, if I'm being totally honest. Bass is trying to make sense of the situation with Jackrabbit. He's looking for restitution. He's looking for answers. Sir? It's bad. He gets there to discover that Sarah has left and does not get the restitution that he's seeking. How much longer are we gonna ride, Bass? These horses need rest. Shoot, we need rest. We stop the night in Dakota if you stop flapping your gums till we get there. Bass turned Jack Rabbit in to Esau, and then that began to just eat away at him. And he was looking for a fight. Are you sure you wanna do this? Sure am. Which starts that epic, epic Dakota sequence. Confidently pulled the trigger is certainly like a moment for him because his first kill was sort of an accident. Look out! Hey, stop! <laughs> and I think he was able to redeem himself a bit by saving the man's life. I think it's a nice step for him. Good work, Billy Crow. When Bass comes home, it makes for a very pregnant scene of, like, anticipation. You're sitting in my chair. There he finds this handsome guy with his hands on Jenny's shoulder, refilling her glass of wine. Well, you must have heard the stories about black men disappearing. Legally, slavery is supposed to be dead, but in practice, it is only wounded. This scene represents those of us who have to travel a lot for work, right? Like Bass does. What happens when you come home and everything is not as you left it? It's a good book says, but when you are invited, sit in the lowest place. I didn't invite you. We have these tense dinner time discussions where words are thrown like swords and axes. That is what happened in the Reeves farmhouse that night. My job is to protect everyone. Are you happy with what you were doing? I have to ask, respectfully. Bass wanted to kill Esme because it's like, who are you to bring this guy to my house? It's a long scene, but it was so enjoyable just to watch them perform it and come up with these beats. With all this blood on your hands, so much you can't hold those precious children. Esau is sort of, there is a wraith of conscience. It's certainly created in Bass's mind's eye how he remembers Esau, reminding him that even angels are slayers. 
Blood is blood. And these type of themes that he keeps sort of prodding Bass with. It's a real dilemma for Bass. We've now seen these circumstances that Bass finds himself in chipping away at him. Bass Reeves is not this two-dimensional deputy sheriff. He was a human being, flesh and bones, who had a moral compass. In order to be a stand-up guy, you have to do some bad things. No matter who we are, we've all been there. Heaven is full of killers, Bass Reeves.